I'm going to reposition this uh, dog here, and uh, I'm making a small base uh, for the uh, dog because there's some writing on top of one of the boxes that uh, Todd has, and he wants to uh, cover that, and so this uh, will do that on that box. Um, I'm going to take the dog away. I'm going to mount this on this board here for to work with it and uh, go ahead and do that now. gosh this is one of those little planes that I got from uh, Sculpture Depot when I was down in uh, Colorado Loveland Colorado at the uh, their store doing that demo last month and uh, looks like I got that off a little bit and uh, I'm going to go ahead and position the dog on here, but then I'm going to take him off and uh, reposition him after I get the legs uh, positioned right. I'm going to add a little length to him because of the fact that uh, I need to uh, cut his body right there and stretch it out. So I'm going to mark off his feet using a magic marker. All right, I think I'm going to move that over. Just a little. So he's centered more in the cen center of the uh, board. Okay. Don't want that one. Uh, for the placement of his uh, wire armature and his legs. There we go. This fits perfect. All right, now I'll uh, take this away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. Uh, Play to the base. I will not cover up the uh, holes with the clay. But it's easier for me to uh, do this before I put the dog on than doing it after. The reason I decided to put the clay on a board is because uh, I can cut it square and that way make the uh, base a little more accurate as far as the uh, 
size of the base and squaring it up. There. I'll be back. It's time to uh, put the uh, dog on. I've already cut him in half. And I just want to line up so that his hind leg, so at least his front end won't be overlapping the front end of the, uh, the uh, board. And what I'm doing is just marking where these two holes are going to go. Because I'm going to reposition it because the other holes were lined up wrongly I'm going to use a smaller drill bit this time the last time it was just too big okay where's the holes oh, there they are this in here this will help uh, get the uh, two all right now I'm gonna heat up this rod a little bit so it'll go into the uh, off the side maybe a little easier Perfect. Now, I need to get him centered there. He is centered. And uh, what I want to do now. to act as kind of like a uh, support. Come on. There we go. It bit. But it bit wrong. And I gotta lift it up a little bit. up I'm going to put a piece of clay underneath his body so it will keep it up there now let's redo the screw hopefully I'll get it centered more in the body instead of off to the side that helped to go the right way The whole thing is to have patience when you're doing something like this. And don't don't lose your patience because it would be easy to do on something like this. Okay. And uh, let's fill in here quickly.
it's looking pretty good. All right, that's going to be it for tonight, and uh, I'll pick this up tomorrow. <laughs>